Now notice here, in this illustration, we're dealing with overcurrent protection and requirements for feeder conductors in accordance with 240.101A. Now remember, previously we were looking at protection of services and so forth in accordance with 230.208. Now notice the service overcurrent protection in the illustration in the equipment to the left, you see that that's 230.208. The feeder overcurrent device using CB or CBs is 240.101A, and it's six times the rating. Now, uh, remember that uh, uh, that was for services. Now, uh, it's, it's lying the same thing for feeders if need be, like for motor starting and compressors and welders and things like that where you didn't have solid state starters reducing inrush current or resistor type starters and so forth. Now, notice that the voltage now is 12,470 uh, uh, three phase. We had three three aught conductors and the size and ratings was selected from table 311.60C74. And notice the table in step one, 311.60, uh, C is in car, 74, a three aught from that table is good for 200 amps. 240.101A, we were referenced uh, from, if it was a transformer, from 450.3, uh, we look at that exception there. But notice again, for that CB, the 600% rule is applicable. So if that circuit breaker could be sized, if need be, to 1,200 amp. And that would, that would be permissible, but over where the fuses are to the right, step three says no, 300%. So 300% of 200 would be 600. If we had fuses at the service equipment, then step three would apply there also. So in the solution and answer, the circuit breaker rating is 1,200 amps, but the fuse rating uh, would only be uh, allowed to be sized at 600 amps. And then, of course, you can always drop below those settings. Now, the overcurrent protection uh, is uh, in the requirements for feeder conductors in accordance to 240.101A, that's what this figure 6-57 is illustrating the six times and three times rule based upon the impasse of the conductors as permitted in NEC 240.101A.